All right, so I'm kind of changing it up this year. Most years, people do the romantic stuff when it comes to like February and Valentine's Day and that sort of thing, but I actually want to lead up to that with some more romantic movies. So this year, the whole month of January, we're going to be doing different iterations of love stories, that sort of stuff. Maybe a few different things popped in here or there, but for the most part, that's what we're doing. Uh, the next one that we're doing... You have to say my name out loud, but I'm very, very excited to be watching what we're checking out today for the very first time. I have never seen this before. I don't know why. We are checking out the 2009 film starring Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock, The Proposal. I am very excited to watch this. I've only heard really good things from my other fellow commentators in the space like Billy Binges, Movie Buds. I'm really excited to be watching this. So I'm very excited to be watching this. I hope you guys are as well. But before we hop into it, if you guys could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button, I would truly, truly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to follow me at the two social medias twitter instagram both fun times don't forget to check me out at twitch.tv slash movies in depth where we stream every single time a new video goes live at 9 p.m eastern standard time go over there check out the page give it a follow maybe even subscribe if you're feeling frisky also don't forget to check out my discord community it's a fun time we talk we hang out it's great head on over there also don't forget to check out my patreon at patreon.com slash movies in depth for the full uncut length reaction to this and all other movies and tv shows covered on the channel as well and let's Let's just get right into this. Also, we can't do a romantic movie and not have these as a snack. Why do movies do this? Why do they always have to hit it off with a bop? I don't know if it's just me, but I really can't grasp the concept of doing cardio as like a favorite thing. It's just not for me. I love lifting weights, but the idea of riding a, on a trip to nowhere, that's a that's not my style. Your regular lattes. Literally saved my life. Thank you. If Ryan Reynolds looked at me that way, you all better stop me. You all better stop me. We're okay. How in the world did he not spill those drinks? If I slam myself into something like that with a couple of Starbucks cups, those are going everywhere. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. The elevator door didn't do it, but that does it. The brother. Frank. Also, what is it about romance movies that always seems to involve a bookstore, a literature publishing company? You name it, books are always involved. Was this based on a book? English. Oh no. Is this going to be like a Devil Wears Prada sort of situation? I think that's exactly what this is gonna be like. Who is, uh, who is Jillian? And why does she want me to call her? Ryan, you're too good. You're too good for your own good. <laughs> so you drink cinnamon light soy lattes? I do. It's like Christmas in a cup. <laughs> the witch is on her broom? How many code words do they have in this office? <laughs> uh, Brooklyn Niner Niner, we've got the witch and she is on a rampage. You better get the hell out of here. Our fearless leader and her liege, please do come in. Pizza time. Pizza time. Bob, I'm letting you go. Say what? Frank hasn't done an interview in 20 years. Because I just got off the phone with him and he is in. Ryan is me. <laughs> I don't want to be in this situation. Two months to find another job and then you can tell everyone you resign, okay? She may be cold hearted, but at least she's practical. Bob, stop. It's just because you have no semblance of a life. Okay, Bob. You're not making yourself look good here. I don't care if she did fire you or not. You know what you're gonna have on your deathbed? Nothing and no one. That escalated very quickly. And you spend more time cheating on your wife than you do in your office. Oh my mother of Christ. And he will put it on that internet site. What was it? YouTube. Exactly. Oh God, such a 2000s film. Right, it's my grandmother's 90th birthday, so I, I was gonna go home and it's fine, I'll cancel it. Oh no, the 90th birthday? Come on, Sandra Bullock. Is that your family? Yes. They tell you to quit? Every single day. Miss Tate's off. Was that her reaction to the fact that his family is telling him to quit? It's like, oh, this is a Tuesday for me. Deported? And apparently there was also some paperwork that you didn't fill out in time. Oh, I already get it. I get what this is. This is an entire movie about a green card marriage? Oh no, that's what this is? We are desperate to have you stay. If there was any way. Do you realize what the title of the movie is? What? Mary from Ms. Winfrey's office called. Just oh, Mary? Really? Really? Gotta edge that on? Just, yeah, just lay it on thick. I could basically overlay Tim Curry's face from Home Alone 2 over hers right now. We're, uh, we're getting married. We are getting married. Where in my job description did it say that? He your secretary? Assistant. Executive. Uh, Super duper important now. Wouldn't be the first time one of us fell for our secretaries, would it, Edwin? Edwin? Do we need to have a conversation? 
We are uh, just two people who weren't meant to fall in love. So I'm assuming the rest of this movie is going to be her trying to convince him to go through with it. Then they realize that they actually like each other. Eventually don't do it for some reason or another. And then at the end of the movie, they actually get together and get married because they love each other. Can't fight a, can't fight a love like ours. Really, shoulder pat. That's the best you got. Was I Am Chatting just invented in time for this movie? <laughs> you not going to try to talk about this, Sandra? What? What do you mean, what? Because if you don't marry me, your dreams of touching the lives of millions with the written word are dead. Wow. I thought there was cold-hearted, and then there's, like, frozen-hearted. That, that's where she is. All the canceled dates, all the midnight Tampax runs were all for nothing. Midnight Tampax runs? Girl, do you not know how to go to the grocery store? We'll get a quickie divorce and be done with me. But until then, like it or not, your wagon is hitched to mine. She does make a good point, even though it's very, very manipulative and terrible. <laughs> Are you both committing fraud to avoid her deportation? You just went straight for the nail on the head now, didn't you there? <laughs> it's not like uh, that's happening. Would it be Bob Spaulding? Bob Spaulding. Bob is that petty that he called immigration? Wow. You will be deported indefinitely, and you, young man, will have committed a felony. Um, um, what? Does this actually happen? Is this a real thing? I guess maybe for figures of that high up, but really? Margaret and I are just two people who weren't supposed to fall in love. If Ryan Reynolds said that to me, your boy will be messed up. You're gonna tell them this weekend. Cammy's 90th birthday. Now they're going to the birthday party? Jesus Christ, what is happening? Sitka. Sitka. Alaska. Alaska. She's like, wait, what? That's where my Andrew's from. The shoulder touch. That's that's what gives it away. Clammy, warm, creamy salad thing, which was, hey. I'm Are you realizing what you just did to him? Promote you to editor? No. Then I quit and you're screwed. Bye bye, Margaret. Andrew. Really has. Good on Ryan for actually getting something out of the deal. Ask me nicely to marry you. Margaret. Do you not realize what the title of the movie is? I'm gonna need a proposal out of you. Fine. Oh, she's having to get on one knee? Queen, love it. Does, does this work for you? Oh, I like good? this, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a very interesting angle. Yo, uh, Jimmy, why, why do you have a shot of Ryan Reynolds' crotch and Sandra Bullock's face? Would you please put cherries on top, marry me? What is it about women in power and uh, when they say stuff like that? Why do people wear stuff like that? I know it looks official, but good God, right there shows you how impractical it is. Japanese calligraphy, barbed wire. You know it's exciting for me to experience you like this? Isn't it a lovely experience trying to avoid deportation? We're uh, done with that question. We're done with that question. On to another. Guaranteed that tattoo is going to be something of a formal, long-lost lover that she had emotional trauma with and she had to give it up. Well, how are we getting to Sitka? If you've ever been to Alaska, you have to go by these small little charter planes or by boat. It's not a fun experience. Hey, it's the mom from Elf. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, also rest in peace to Betty White. I saw her name in the beginning of this movie. Such an amazing actress. So sad that she passed away right before her 100th birthday. Love you, Betty. Come here. Hey, Gammy. Oh, oh Gammy. And her name's Gammy? Oh, my God. Now, do you prefer being called Margaret or Satan's mistress? Yeah. What? <laughs> if my grandmother ever said that to me, I would pass out. Not gonna lie, this is what the downtown of my hometown looks like. You didn't tell me about all the family businesses. He was probably just being modest, dear. So does his family like own the entire town, basically? Did you see the shoes that Broad was wearing? <laughs> that Broad was wearing? Oh my God, Betty White. You know I can't swim. Hence the boat. Come on, Sandra, give it a try. If she can actually climb down a ladder in those heels, she comes with a lot of baggage. Literally, Gam Gam. Hand off ass, off ass. What? You all are married or about to be? <laughs> you gotta embrace it. That is your home? That's a hell of a home. <laughs> I see why you call her the Satan's mistress. How are you not impressed by that, Sandra? That's a beautiful house. A little welcoming party. It's 50 of our closest friends and neighbors. 50? It's gonna require that you stop snacking on children while they dream. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Son, this must be Maggie. I smell a lot of emotional baggage there. So you're actually Andrew's boss, yeah. Then we got a lot of masculine, sort of uh, misogynist era going on here. What'd you say? You heard me. Getting married. 
Well, that was an interesting way of telling him. Good, thank you. Do get it for someone? Oh. Oscar, what's going on? Yes, I am super cool. Honey, hey, where are you at? There it is. Yeah, I, I don't think a good way to announce that you're getting married is uh, saying, there it is, there it is. My mom probably wanted it to be a surprise, so. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> oh, is that a former high school something flame? Thank you. So, did I miss the story? Oh, no. About how you proposed. Oh, no. Oh, how a man proposes says a lot about his character. Game, game. I actually would love to hear this story, Andrew. Would you tell us? All right, Ryan, I'm gonna need you to dust off those acting chops. I'm telling the story, so I'm just gonna let her go ahead and do that. Rest in peace to Ryan Reynolds' nuts, because they will no longer be there after this story. That she might find this little box. Oh, I... the decoupage box. This is like the worst game of improv of all time. Naturally, Margaret. She I thought, thought he was that... seeing someone else. What? All right, this improv has got to stop before someone one says that they tried to murder the other one. Margaret, will you marry me? And she said, yep, in the end. I was hungry. Me, I've already had my full serving of bull <laughs> Let's see a kiss oh, yeah. from you two yeah, cuties. Yeah. Give her what, you all just gave that great performance? You can do this. this kiss her on the mouth, like you mean it. Uh, you're kind of getting aggressive over there. Andy, give her a real kiss. Gam gam. Oh, you love to see two people who hate each other fake a marriage to get out of deportation. And uh, the little inklings of them actually starting to fall for each other have now entered the chat. So happy for you. <laughs> oh, Gam Gam, you better stop. <laughs> oh my God, what is, what is it? Oh. oh, look at the little puppy. Why, why do they have to keep introducing cute things to me? <laughs> Be sure you don't let him outside or the eagles will snatch him. Gam Gam what? It has special powers. I call it the baby maker. Gam Gam. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I don't like the way she just winked at me. Because I was supposed to be in a hotel alone. Remember? Can we just go to sleep? Why are y'all going to sleep with a night owl? What time does it get dark in Alaska? I've forgotten at this point. It's like daylight savings time or something. It's like I won't be getting much sleep with the sun streaming in. Just how rich is his family? Because that house is beautiful. Frank! Frank! Darling! Darling! Frank! Are you there? Hello? Darling? Why are you calling him darling? Frank. Frank. Oh, this is gonna go great. Why are you walking out further? Just stop there on the porch. No, you are asking for a bad situation to arise. Here comes the dog, dear God. Right, Frank. So cute. I have two huskies. I can't. Well, Frank, if I make it. If you don't save that dog from that eagle. If you don't save that dog from that eagle. Shh, dog, I'm on the phone. I think it's. Save that puppy! I just want you to be happy, Frank. Give me that dog! Screw the call, get the dog! <laughs> Okay. My good lord, I just almost had a heart attack. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. And, but this is your legacy. Frank, I'm gonna need to call you back. I have a literal eagle chasing me right now. Hey, bye-bye. No, wait. No, 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 no. Take the doggy. Sandra! You have to get ready. Oh, you're going out with mom and the girls. Have fun with Gam Gam. Oh, there we go. She's actually gonna start to like it. If you touch my ass one more time, I will cut your balls off in your sleep. I feel like Ryan will be into that. Ah. Must be into some kinky stuff. You have responsibilities here. Oh, so he wants him to take over for the businesses. I'm sorry. I feel sorry for you, Dad. You can't force someone to take on your dreams. It's just not gonna work. Apology not accepted. No fun out here. That's tough. Is there no one else they could leave the business to outside of him? I mean, the like managing of it. Just let him be the figurehead of it and then let someone else do the day to day. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Why do I feel like they're at a strip club? I was telling you about. You ready? Why do I feel like they're at a strip club? You're gonna love it. Oh, no. Gam, gam. <laughs> Oscar, what the f? <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to look at him the same. I'm not like you. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, this is the best Alaska has to offer. No one's the only exotic dancer on the island. Called it! <laughs> Not gonna lie, Oscar had a little bit of muscle there. Okay, I see you, Oscar. Over here! Oh, Gam Gam, no. Oh, God, Betty! I've seen more of Oscar than I ever needed to see. Back his ass! Gam Gam! I, um, I feel her pain. He proposed and said he wanted to elope and run away to New York with me. Why does she give me, like, major Anna Ferris vibes? Am I the only one getting that here? Oh, no, is that Gam Gam up there? Oh, God, no. Yep, the headphones, he's gonna walk in. Movie, why are you doing this to me? Why? Why? Is he just getting naked out there? Why? Oh, oh my wow. God! 
I think it's a better question. Why is he naked? Why is he naked? So, so naked. <sighs> yeah, <clears throat> totally naked. What if the guy asked? Not about that, Margaret. Good night. Wow, that's the definition of touchy. Never played a video game. I read Wuthering Heights every Christmas. That's kind of depressing. I went to the bathroom and cried after Bob called me a poisonous bitch. Aww. And now we start to see the cracks open up, of course. Got them when I was 16, after my parents died. See, when there's always a hard exterior, they've been through more trauma than you know. You really haven't slept with anyone in 18 months? Yeah, well, I've uh, been a little busy. No one's too busy for that. Don't take this the wrong way. You are a very... Very beautiful woman. How can she not take that the wrong way? God, I can't see <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. I mean, she's still a cold hearted <laughs> but they're cute. With her, I can't tell if she's just doing this because that's the way she's always been or if she's doing that to try now to impress Ryan Reynolds. You know, baby like it. Right. Oh wait, no, 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 that's the baby maker. What? Are you wearing makeup? What? No, don't. How do you instantly know that? Oh my God, what is I'm that? sorry. Do you not know? Your family has. You have room for one more? Oh God, here we go. No. Oh, you, your mother and I have come up with a proposition, and I have. We, we've had too many proposals for this movie. We can't do that. I want you to get married that, here tomorrow. <laughs> I'm already married, and I feel the stress from that question. So if you all could stop. <laughs> a dream come true. Mm. So you'll do it before I'm dead. Gam gam. We'll be happily divorced before you know it. It'll be fine. That rubbing. Um. That rubbing. That's that's the bathroom. Oh, yeah, I know. I just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Because <clears throat> you're starting to develop feelings for you, my guy. You've got to be kidding me. That's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Is it Gam Gam? Gam Gam, what in the hell are you doing? Just as she brought you and Andrew. What in the ritualistic crap did I just walk into? Come on, Margaret. Feel the rhythm of the drum. Where are we hearing drums in the in the forest. To the window. Yes. The window. Yeah. Wall. No. <laughs> to the window. To the wall. What am I watching? Oh, to the, to the wall. I don't think this is for Mother of Nature anymore. Oh, these kids go down. I don't know if I should be embarrassed for Gam Gam, Sandra Bullock, or Ryan Reynolds, or all three. But no, you scared. You, you scared. scared. Now stop. Ryan's like, I, I, I love life. <laughs> Would you please? Ow. I don't think any of us are going to ever be able to unsee that. Hola. Hey, hi. So he's a waiter, erotic dancer, and a general store worker. My man's out there hustling. What is that? Oh dear, sweetie, I've got to introduce you to this terrible invention called Dial Up. The jealousy's gonna set in. No strippers, no chanting in the woods. Promise. Oh. oh, it's gonna be for wedding dress shopping, isn't it? See if we can find your boobs. Gam gam! It's like an Easter egg. <laughs> oh God. Oh Christ. Well, that would be lovely. Mm-hmm. I would like that very much. Oh, here we go. No. Go make yourself a cup of tea. I'll finish this. All right, this is, this is gonna be me for the rest of the video. <laughs> Been in the family for more than 150 years. That may be traditionalistic, but is it just me or is that dress just um, not it? Grandmothers love to give their stuff to their grandchildren. It makes us feel like we'll still be part of your lives even after we're gone. Oh, son of a <laughs> That was a good line. You're in trouble. Whoa! What? what? Have you not heard of a thing called low tide? I've been on my own since I was 16 and I forgot what it felt like to have people. Ugh, what is this movie doing to me? This is so sweet. Oh, oh my god, what a scary voice out of- Oh, not Gam Gam. Oh, oh, son of a- I don't think that hijacking a boat- Ryan, turn around! Oh, she doesn't know how to swim. Oh god, she doesn't know how to swim. Shut up, Margaret! She doesn't know how to swim. Margaret! I want to talk to both of you. Hmm, I smell childhood trauma coming to a head. Told you I'd check up on you. What the hell? No way he would come out that far. Phone call from Mr. Gilbertson here who told- No way he would come- Okay, movie. That's movie logic. We fell in love. I asked her to marry me. She said yes. I'll see you at the wedding. Let's go, Ryan. Hey, Pops. <laughs> you. Why in the world would you fly him up there? Why? I don't care if you thought he was right. Why in the world would you do that to your son? Is that a skunk rug? No, it's a wolf rug. Okay, I was about to say. 
you know, the way they could have gotten out of this, I think, earlier on by saying we hadn't decided to marry each other yet, but we have been dating. Deportation thing just made us realize that we don't want to lose each other. And of course, Oscar's the officiant. What does he not do? My man is out here hustling. Everyone, please be seated. Hey, kids, I, I got to tell you a story about that time me and your mother got married. And it was uh, from an exotic dancer. Are all... Sandra, what are you doing? Can it wait till after? Sorry, Ramon, it can't. I forced Andrew here to marry me. Well, I didn't see this happening. I thought that we'd go through with it. And I thought it would be easy to watch him do it. You're a <laughs> Why would you be happy about this? It's like, oh yeah, gonna kick somebody out of the country today. You meet me at the dock, you're giving me a ride to the airport. In a million years, I did not see this movie going this way. I'm actually impressed. Good on you, movie. That guy's acting like he's playing a crossword puzzle. I swear, I want to dropkick him. I'll make sure we buy this before I leave. Have an amazing life. You deserve it. That's so sad. So you're just going to let her go? Come on, go get her. <laughs> Canadian book editors, those are the people we really need to worry about. Do it. Oh, so wait a minute. Do this. Stop I mean it. it. I'm not asking. Oh. Look what you just did to Game Gam. The f did you just do to Game Gam? The spirits can take me. Gammy. Was that all a sham? I guess they're not ready for me. Oh my god. Gam Gam, why? <laughs> the only way I can get you two to shut up. I'm dead. Always oh, get my man. I'm that good. Except she's a woman. Everybody's still afraid of her. This thing. Yes, what? Yeah, guy made it. You all have nothing better to do. Do you see that woman over there? She's just eyeballing them. Why are they all staring? Mind your own business. When you told me about your tattoo, even when you checked me out when we were naked. I don't know if I would say that in front of everybody. When it suddenly dawned on me that the woman I love is about to be kicked out of the country. So sweet. Marry me because I'd like to date you. I love it. Love it. Marry me so we can date. <laughs> all right, now you all can join in, you peeping toms. For real. All right, so that was the proposal. I'll admit, I did not predict how that was actually going to end up. I really did not see her actually coming clean right there at the wedding. And then eventually it works out the right way, but I'm actually really proud of Sandra Bullock's character. I thought that whole movie was so cute, so much fun. I love the wilderness. I love Alaska as a setting for a movie like this. So that was a really, really good movie to watch. I hope that you all enjoyed it because I sure as heck did. But before you head out of here, make sure that you subscribe, hit that like button, follow me at the two social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times. So don't forget to check out my Discord community it's a fun time head over there we can talk chat it's a good time also don't forget to check me out at twitch.tv slash movies in depth where i stream every single time a new video goes live at 9 p.m eastern standard time head on over to the page follow it maybe even subscribe if you're feeling frisky also don't forget to check out my patreon at patreon.com slash movies in depth for the full uncut linked reaction to this and all other movies and tv shows covered on the channel as well including exclusive patreon content like uc3 firefly supernatural it's a good time head on over there and besides all that i'll the proposal you all in another one.